after hours. Gotta pick up and get up out of here, man. Hey, you two is shaking. Yeah. Yeah, last of the Mohegans right here. That should be my trailer right there. Right. That's right there, right there. Gotta go through this gate. Gotta put the code in. Hopefully the code works. I don't want no problems. You dig on top. Alright, so let's say pound 7368. Yes, sir. Open up for your boy. Nice and quiet. That's one thing I'm gonna miss about power only, man. You know, it's the fact that we just move and groove. Not too much conversation for the most part. Not too much waiting for the most part. A lot of after hour pickups for the most part. That's that's one thing I'm gonna miss, man. Ain't no damn sitting at nobody dock. Quick, quick walk around, make sure everything's straight. It's a green trailer. I delivered about, it's probably like my third one. They always go somewhere in North Carolina. Country, country, country ass side. But yeah, man. Nice little haul up with it. Um, It's not burning a lot of fuel with it. It's a good thing. Empty too. Just gotta make sure she's straight. Diesel five dollars a gallon now, so yeah. Now we up out of here. I don't know how to operate. Dude came out one time, turned that thing on right there, and was um doing whatever, make sure it operates right. I ain't none of my business. I don't care about none of that. So let's hit the road, Jack. Nine hour drive. It's Saturday, but I can't deliver it until Monday morning. And I just looked at the route, and the route not taking me through anywhere I want to be at, so. It's that bull. It's going to be one of those weekends where you just in the middle of nowhere just trying to find something to do. It would be nice if it would get me through the crib, but it ain't going that way. I have to go out of my way. I ain't going to do all that. It would be nice if it was stopping in Atlanta, or if I was routing through Atlanta, but that ain't the case. So, I'm going to drive about four hours today, four hours tomorrow. And then Monday morning, wake up, do that little hour, and then shoot it to the crib. And that'll be that. Yeah. Another day, another dollar. You know what it is. Supposed to be chasing money, but you chasing bitches. What you doing? Real bosses don't talk, we just sit back and listen. Yeah, I know how it go. Usually on your last load to go home is always some foolishness. Now look at this. Let's see if it's gonna still happen. There it go. Alright, the trailer wheel is spinning. But it's been locking up. There it go. Look at it locked up. Any lock system decides to mess up. It ain't spinning, dog. I've been pulling trailers for how long? And this ain't never happened. Yo, so you know how it go. And your last load home. There's always some foolishness. Now, what is the foolishness this time on this old rusty ash trailer? I don't know if y'all can see the smoke coming through, but the brakes done locked up on your boy. I was able to get them released, but in the meantime of getting them released, that whole thing is broke off. What's that? It looks like the wheel gonna come off. Easily, easily a violation. That's how it's supposed to be looking. See that? Look how this one is looking. I know the sun probably in the way. Let's see if I can get on this side. Look at that. Torched. Now, what the hell are your boy supposed to do? And in all honesty, I just want to drop this shit and get the hell up out of here, bro. Like for real. Look at that. Screws is all loose and everything. Come on, man. The closest TA about 75 miles 
That's that bullshit, man. I'm telling you. It never fails. When you know you're about to go home to have a damn good time, this is the type of shit you got to deal with. Like, this is the memory I got to have on my last power-only load out here with the company. Now, I'm thinking, if I go ahead and drive, first of all, if I call roadside assistance, that's going to be a waste of time because they're going to come out here, they're going to look, they're going to be like, damn, we don't got none of those parts because I don't really know what to describe to them or what that is. What the hell do I say? I describe to them. I don't know what's none of that shit called. But I know that it don't look right. These are facts. What I'm going to do is call the company and let them know that, yo, first axle on the trailer, torched. All right? Something wrong with it. Smoking and all that. You can see the tire got a flat top right here because, like I said, it locked up on me before. And I was able to get a release. The anti-lock um, brake for the trailer been on since I hooked up to it. But I ain't paid no attention to that because a lot of the trailers be like that. But, yo, I don't know, man. 75 miles to go to the TA. It's Saturday. It's looking shaky, bro. In all honesty, I have no problem leaving it at the TA and going home, dog. Real talk. But... I'm going to go ahead and give them a call and let them know ahead of time, like, this is what's going on. And what they suggest I do. Because anybody with two eyes can see that that's how it should be looking. Hub seal, hub cap, whatever you want to call that. I think that's a hub cap. See how that's looking. And look how that one looking. That shit got blown off. Blown off somehow, some way. Got blown off. But this is what we're dealing with, man. It never fails. I'm just trying to get home. <laughs> See all that? Got the jungle behind me, man. Hey, ain't nothing that we could do. So I got in touch with, with, with the TA. But honestly, the TA just didn't want to help your boy out. I could hear it in her voice. Um, I told her what the problem was. She said, man, you got to call the trailer shop. So right now, I'm just... CMA What the hell a CMA is? I'm going to tell you Covering my ass You dig what I'm saying? So I'm just sitting here Taking my time um, Because I don't give a damn Respectfully I just drive this straight to where I need to go Just like that I took worse chances before But I'm doing it the right way You know what I'm saying? This is my last one So I got to make sure That at least Do it the right way You know? So I'm just waiting for a phone call back um, so I can get the word on what the hell they want me to do because their word trumps my decisions. You dig what I'm saying? Because if the tide decides to flip off and find a destination to somebody, I don't want it to be my fault solely. You dig what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I'm just sitting here wait on the side of the highway. You dig? I found somewhere safe, well, more safe to park. You dig? A little, little, little more safer than what it was. And that's it. My Mocha 17 on US 82 out here in Waycross, Georgia. The boy getting a little hungry, so they need to hurry up. Oh, here they go right now. Live action. Hello? Okay, so here's what Mike said. Mike said, So, is there any way that Mike could speak to them and explain that directly to them? Because she didn't sound like she wanted to work me up. You call the you all, you call the TA in Brunswick, right? Correct. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call, okay? All right, perfect. All right, and then um, hold on here. Let me make sure I got. Oh, I have your number. Right. All right, let me call over there and let her know. And where is your exact location? All right. Okay. Cool. See what I'm saying? So basically, she ain't want to help me out. They want somebody to come out here and assess it. Like I said, they're about 60-something miles away, 62 miles away. I have no problem driving over there. But 
CMA. Covering my ass. You dig what I'm talking about? So we just gonna sit back and chill. Um, yeah, ain't nothing I could do. The struggles. Well, I just feel good knowing that it ain't my truck on the side of the road. You feel what I'm saying? At least it ain't my truck. My cranberry doing what she need to do. This punk ass trailer. This dusty ass, rusty ass trailer. But we're just gonna sit back and chill until that time. You know? What else could you do? Yeah. Hours later, your boy's still waiting. See, that's the thing, man. When you try to do the right thing sometimes, you know, you, you, you dealt with the short end of the stick, you know? Ain't nobody come out here yet. I could have just drove it straight to the TA. At least I would have been somewhere where there's civilization going on other than speeding cars down the damn interstate. I'm still on the side, so we just had burning time. How we burning time? Yes, I be doing it, man. We're about to give out that work. Might as well. Yeah, give out that work in the time being. I've been here about three hours now. You know what I'm saying? Three hours now. But, just gotta thug it out. Five hours later. Company pulled up. Lakers game now. Long as hell, bro. Part of the game, though. So back out here, obviously the next morning. KB, what the verdict? What happened with the damn trailer? It's still beat up. They ain't fixed a damn thing. And this is how your boy had to ride back. Yeah, we had to ride back just like this. So what happened was they came through, took the wheel off, chained this thing up, chained the axle up. And um, they set this one out for me. So I gotta swap it out. Literally wasting my damn time. Set me back a little bit. But they had to up the pay, believe that. They gotta up the pay. I need my back in the right way. So we're just gonna hook up and get the hell up out of here. And hopefully this one ain't got those same problems, man. But these are things you can't even predict what happened. Just gotta deal with it. I ain't tripping though. Yeah, man. Shout out to the thousand bucks. I done killed driving through this country ass shit, man. Out here in Trenton, North Carolina. Safe to say, this is gonna be the first and last time I'm on the side. I ain't got a damn thing for me on the side. These are facts. And I, I made a wrong turn and I had to do a, a goofy ass maneuver to get back around because I thought the gate was right here. But it ain't. Right turn right here. Pull up into this thing. Hopefully, whoever need to be here is here. Sign my paperwork so I can take it to where I need to be at. Because, needless to say, it ain't out here. But yeah, these are facts. I ain't got shit out here. Look at the AB stands at the store. Shut down. I'm not surprised it shut down. Literally in the middle of nowhere out here, man. AG Solutions. Gate wide open for your butt. Open to this office. Yes, sir. Quick and easy. The last of the last. Bittersweet moment for real. You know? Drop my hooks, be money. But we gonna see what the next chapter like. And as y'all know, I am Red I K B, the voice of the streets, and this is what I do. Feel me? If you real life in debt, y'all watch me as I grow in this truck and shit, giving out real content, not the goofiness that be going on. I'ma highlight y'all. You did one time.